This is Europe, where the old world meets the new. Prosperous and at peace for nearly four decades. Central to that continuing peace is the American presence. And through all these years, the U.S. military community on the continent has enjoyed the companionship of a unique broadcasting organization, the American Forces Network Europe. The network has a rich history of service. When American troops fought their way across the Normandy beaches back in 1944, AFN was there. General Dwight D. Eisenhower. People of Western Europe. A landing was made this morning on the coast of France by troops of the Allied Expeditionary Force. This landing is part of the concerted United Nations plan for the liberation of Europe. As they battled their slow and costly path across France, Belgium, and Holland, the soldier network went with them. And when the peace was finally won, AFN reported it and settled in for a long stay. This 16th century castle was the network's first permanent home in Germany. Today, the castle is a museum, and the broadcasters practice their craft out of this modern radio and television center in Frankfurt, Germany. Inside, a controlled information explosion is underway. You are inside the headquarters of the most dynamic military broadcasting organization in the world. Daily, thousands of words, thoughts, and images are coordinated, created, processed, and translated into the media of radio and television. This AFN staff of broadcasters, logistics and personnel specialists, engineers, managers, and leaders hail from nearly every state in the Union and several foreign countries. Like their audience, the military staff members wear the uniforms of the Army, Navy, and the Air Force. Their mission is to operate and maintain the military community's most effective link to events and entertainment on the home front. But AFN Europe is more than just a headquarters. These AFN affiliate stations provide radio and television service to local and regional audiences. The affiliates create a sense of community and cohesiveness that only local radio and television can provide. Outside, 22 Celsius. Hi, today's gonna be real right there. The thing called party time. Going out to all the parties around the title track from his newest album entitled Body Wishes. That link to home we spoke of is kept open in many ways, not the least of which is round the clock radio. From the network and from the affiliates, AFN Radio maintains a rich diet of information, entertainment, and more music more often. The portability of the medium makes it possible to reach our listeners whenever they listen, wherever they are. Remote broadcasts take radio out into the community, where AFNers help agencies and organizations improve the quality of life overseas. AFN television has had a major impact on Americans in Europe since 1963. But the single most important event affecting its operation occurred in April 1984. For nearly 45 hours each week, this satellite earth station in Frankfurt and two similar dishes at Bremerhaven in Berlin provide a direct link to home. Because of time zone differences between the United States and Europe, some programs are tape delayed for the convenience of the viewing audience. The response to the immediacy of this delivery system goes far beyond the entertainment or information value of the programs. For an audience that is isolated several thousand miles from home in a foreign environment, daily contact with something familiar, live, and American has a social impact of great proportions. That was never more apparent than in the summer of 1984. The satellite delivered 122 hours of the Los Angeles Olympic Games to a proud American audience in Europe. Viewers were unanimous that it was outstanding coverage as they witnessed Live, America in its finest hour. AFN viewers and listeners desire and receive a well-balanced mix of sports. The network endeavors to keep its audience aware of the competition and standings of teams both at home and in the local command. AFN treats sports as entertainment, 
and it's proven to be a key ingredient in the promotion of positive morale and unit teamwork. Tonight on the AFN Evening News, Defense Secretary Weinberger shares his thoughts with soldiers on the rebirth of American spirit. Soldiers in Mannheim are proud of a robot they invented that may help other units too. The AFN Evening News compiled from the major networks, wire services, and public affairs offices, with reports from AFN stations in West Germany, Berlin, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Military personnel and their families in Europe are among the best informed in the world. In addition to live satellite news from the states, the production of AFN local, regional, and European national news, weather and sports, are gathered, written, and produced from a variety of sources. They include wire services, military public affairs channels, as well as our own reporter teams. The network journalists are backed up by cameras at the nine radio affiliates, who also have a TV mission as network bureaus. Our reporters cover one of the largest beats in television, chalking up thousands of miles annually. Over the years, they have built an envied reputation for accuracy and thoroughness. Their stories now, as always, are found in the American military communities and training areas where people in uniform and their families are making news and making history. In September 1984 and again in January 1985, AFN Europe broke the mold and introduced a revolutionary approach to military broadcasting. When the troops went to the field for the Autumn Forge and Central Guardian NATO exercises, Two dozen AFN staffers and several tons of equipment went with them. They erected studios, activated functioning news centers in the middle of the exercise areas, and then became a pivotal part of the AFN evening news. The live microwave hookups added a sense of immediacy to the nightly reports during both of these exercises. Solid planning, good training, and professional standards won the network a new measure of credibility from both the viewers and the military leadership in Europe. More importantly, they told the soldiers and airmen's stories as they should be told. AFN Television has added a new dimension to its resources. With this mobile production van, quality coverage of major events is now a reality. This control room on wheels was central to the success of Autumn Forge coverage. The fully equipped mobile facility travels to command sporting events or turns any location into a setting for variety or talk shows. It goes without saying that this is one of the network's proudest possessions for providing better service to our viewers. Serving an audience is the thrust of our mission in Europe. But providing service to commanders is an integral part of that process. It's called command information. AFN radio and television producers deal with more than 400 clients throughout the year, translating communications objectives into spot announcements. The network maintains the largest inventory of spots in the AFRTS system. Our philosophy of communicating to service members and their families is supportive with positive role models delivering messages that are written to motivate specific parts of the audience. The scheduling of these spots is becoming increasingly scientific. To communicate with a demographic segment, a spot is programmed by day parts or within a program that will provide maximum impact. This process of targeting is a reflection of proven methods used in the civilian broadcast industry. Service to our audience is being increased and enhanced every day. To know the people we serve better, the network launched the most comprehensive survey in its history. In response, we took some immediate initiatives, including expanded television broadcast hours, more late afternoon entertainment programs, fewer tape delay and an increase in live sports programs, the addition of a late night satellite newscast for shift workers, more community announcements on television, and an increase in a variety of program types on the weekend. Service to the audience also includes providing information on program updates and changes. At least 30 times each day, viewers see these program promos. Additionally, AFN Radio promotes television, and viewers are told of programs and events coming up on radio. The audience is as important to us as we hope we are to them. There are about 500,000 of them. 
250,000 are military, an equal number are family members, as well as some 30,000 civilian specialists. And with all of that, AFN Europe is ready to step rapidly into the future. It's a high-tech atmosphere where automation is assisting us in our increasingly complex operation. It's also an atmosphere that is charged with a creative drive to explore new and more effective ways to communicate with the most important audience in the world. It's a noble mission, and even though AFN has been informing and entertaining for more than four decades, its direction is as new and as dynamic as tomorrow. All testament, we think, to the efficient use of the assets and resources with which we have been entrusted.